Hi, I'm John Haas with Haas Off The Grid, your destination travel adventure, saltwater challenge fly fishing TV show. Boy, what a mouthful. You can catch us at HaasOffTheGrid.com. I'm here today to talk to you about uh, fishing with homemade flies. You know, the question is, is there a difference between fishing with your homemade fly versus a store-bought fly? And the answer is generally no. You know, it's fly fishing. Um, the difference is when you tie your own flies, you get to get something that's customized to your own situation, your own river, your own time of year, um, versus something that's mass produced by a bunch of people that are creating the same pattern over and over again. Um, for example, if I fish one of the rivers that I fish in the Northwest, and I notice that a hatch is going off a little bit later, I may decide to change a little bit of the body color or something like that. It's generally hard to find that in a store-bought fly, but if you're tying your own flies, that's easy to do. So when I tie my own flies, I usually do some variations so that I have some available. And if it comes to that time of the season and I realize that that variation is very is critical, then I can sit down and tie a bunch more of those because it doesn't take that long to tie a fly once you've got uh, the pattern, you're familiar with the pattern and you've got the materials. Um, let me just quickly just go through, you know, when I go, uh, you've got dry fly, in my dry fly box for trout fishing, uh, flies that are floating on the surface. You're gonna be fishing, you know, nymphs, flies that are floating below the surface and then you're going to also uh, be tying up you know patterns an example here's a pattern that I tied a bunch of this is Prince Nymph with bead head and I just tied a bunch of those patterns up and basically I'll take in the off season time I'll watch a movie I'll break out my vice and I'll just start tying up a pattern and as time goes on it gets easier and faster and I start to create a bunch of these I'll make some variations so I've got some variation in size and coloration to try uh, during the year and see if it makes a difference but uh, generally you know you tie up flies because you like doing it um, is there a difference in fishing them not really a fly is a fly you might put some characteristic in your fly you might put a different material on it and which allows you to fish that fly with a faster action or you know a different type of presentation but a fly is a fly one other thing is you know as i start to tie up more and more flies especially saltwater these big pattern flies you know i just tie them in white and i'll use pens i'll bring along waterproof pens and i'll just color them in to match whatever's ha the hatch is happening uh, whatever bait fish or whatever things are happening. And I've started to do that with more and more of my flies. So that allows me to just tie up one thing in a variety of sizes and then customize the coloration of it as per my observation on site. Um, but in either case, you tie it, you buy it, you're still fly fishing and that's always good. Mm -hmm.